Hello, it's Jo here from Bullwell Forest Garden and welcome to Let's Get Growing and I think we're on tutorial number six so I hope you're all well and um, we're going to start by looking back on some of the things we did over the previous um, weeks so just to have a quick recap so this, these are the spring onions they're doing fine and then the shallot is growing quite slowly but it's got growth on it so that's fine and the bulbs poking up so we've got like a crocus flower nearly opening there and a few more just popping up here and these are the daffodils so that's looking lovely um, I'm gonna the parsley are fine the broad beans are very leggy they're just not getting enough light and they are growing but um, I think what we're going to do is have another go at broad beans. Um, if I wasn't growing these for the project, I would get these in the ground to give them a, a chance and they might pick up a bit. But no, not very happy with them. Um, the garlic's kind of okay. The peas that I managed to salvage, sort of not doing a lot. I was going to put some string around there, but I haven't. But we're going to have another go at peas as well. Uh, the wildflowers are fine. The stachys that we did last time, that's uh, it's doing fine. It's got a bit of new growth on it. The sweet peas are starting to shoot up. I can see one, two, three, four coming through there. So that's good. The onions are okay. The parsley is fine. The strawberries are okay. I think what I'm going to do on the top of some of these, can you see the green? It's going a little bit sort of stagnant on the top. So the, I'm just going to use, you could use a fork or you can use anything. And it's a bit like when you hoe and it'll just get rid of that. It's not enough light really and the conditions in here. This time of year, it's you can't really do a lot about that. I'm going to do the same on a few of these as well. Just so it doesn't rot the plants. And the potatoes. So these are chitting nicely, so you can see they've started to grow these little shoots. So these, that's quite remarkable because they've been in my son's bedroom and he has his curtains closed a lot of the time, but they're doing okay. And finally, the sunflower, the uh, sunflower shoots that were growing as microgreens. So they've got a bit tall and these are ready, most of them. People have been asking about them. So I just keep taking a bit off really and nibbling at them. So I think with these they're not all ready. I'll probably cut the ones that are ready, the tallest ones, like that one. Um, put them in a salad, cut a few of them and then I'd probably leave the rest. They haven't all germinated, some are still starting to germinate. But they've got like a kind of nutty flavour, quite nice. So, today's packs, mainly it's about flowers, so you should have two plants in your pack. So the first one is uh, California Poppy, so that's this one, so it's an annual. It flowers in August and it's really good for bringing in pollinators as well as bringing in um, some colour to your garden so we've got these ones and we've also got this one here is a poached egg plant and it's called that because its flowers look like poached eggs that's that one there so the first thing we're going to do with these is transplant them so we're going to take them out of their pots this one has really grown well. This is one we just dug up from BFG and put into pots in the autumn and this one we grew from seed in the autumn and it's overwintered in the polytunnel. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to put them both together 
in a bigger pot. You don't have to do that. You could put them in the garden, in the ground, or you could put them into individual pots. It's up to you. I just, I'm just going to put them in here um, so I can keep an eye on them and show you um, how they're growing. And there'll be a nice burst of colour. So I'm going to fill my pot about halfway through full. Then I'm going to squeeze the pot a little bit. And because it's quite got quite a big root system as that, I'm just going to tease it out a little bit gently to encourage it to get its roots down into this new soil. Put that one in there. And then I'll get my California poppy. Mm, I'll do that a little bit. This should be really good for bringing hoverflies in. So you put these amongst your vegetables, you'll get pollinators into your veggie patch. And these are really easy to grow. Easy as that. Right, we're still on to flowers. So, um, what we're going to do today is I told you that these, this is a kind of exercise in sowing seeds, really. And so, today we're going to sow some Calendula officinalis, which is otherwise known as pot marigold. And let's have a look. So you probably all know this one. It's nice and colourful again. It attracts hoverflies and other pollinators. It's a really good companion plant to grow with vegetables. But what we're going to do is a bit of an experiment. So instead of just putting it into a pot, I'm making a mini greenhouse out of an old milk pot. And so I've made some holes in the bottom, which was a bit tricky and I've squashed the pot a bit, but it doesn't matter. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut got a line along there. Mm -hmm. A bit more. I want to leave like a little hinge on here. So the idea is I can open it and I can plant into here and that's going to act as like a kind of greenhouse or a mini cloche around the top of it just to keep the seeds nice and warm while they get growing. They are hardy annual but I'm just going to do this as a kind of experiment. So I'm going to put my compost in. Just treat this as you would a plant pot. And then I'm going to get the calendula seeds which are quite funny looking things. Today, make sure they don't blow away, and then I'm just going to bob a few seeds in here, spread them out so they've got a bit of room to grow. Probably put about eight seeds in there, and then we could cook it up with a little bit of compost. even just write on here but I've made a label put it on the inside probably if you wrote on the outside you'll be able to see better and give them a bit of water and remember your drainage holes in the bottom otherwise they'll end up waterlogged and rotted and then I probably can't do this at the moment because it's a bit wet but the next thing to do would be to wipe it and dry it and maybe get some I've got cellar tape it won't, probably won't last very long some stronger tape might be better and then to tape around here which I'll do in a bit when it's dried because I don't think the cellar tape will stick to that and you've got um, leave the lid off 
so some air can get in there and you've got like a mini greenhouse mini cloche there which will hopefully help the seeds to germinate and then I've given you some more raw bean seeds to have another go so we just you've done this you should have done this before so I've just got six pots I'm gonna have six seeds I'm going to dip a hole about three times the depth of the seed in each one. I'm going to bob the seed on its side so it doesn't rot. And I'm hoping these are going to do better than the autumn ones. The autumn ones are always a bit of a gamble really. These should have a good early start. So to give them a water, put a label on them, and then I'd probably get something if it's big enough, maybe a couple of them to put over to cover it just to keep them warm. And finally, we're going to sow some wildflower seeds mix. And I know we've grown some here, but you did these from like plugs that we'd started off in autumn. But, so you're going to have a go at sowing some yourself and you don't need to make a mini propagator. These are really hardy and they'll just germinate. We've had some that germinated outside over winter. So I'm um, going to get a little seed tray or a punnet as long as it's got holes in the bottom. I'm going to throw a bit of compost in there. Press it down. There's a lot of grasses in here, there's some perennial um, wildflowers and there's a few annuals I think so I'm going to get just scatter them, don't have to be too precise with these, spread them out. And it's a bee and butterfly mix that we've got here, I'm just going to cover it up. Press it down, put my label in, and give it a water, and these will germinate outside. And um, finally, I'm not going to do this now because I haven't got any toilet roll tubes, and we've already done it once. I've ordered in some more peas, Calvert and Wonder. So if yours are a bit sad looking like mine, um, you can have another go. Um, you can look back at the previous one. I can't remember, sorry, which video it was, but the, we did do it a few weeks ago, so in the autumn. So, um, yeah. I'll have another go at these and we'll see how we get on. So uh, I think that's it. Yeah, the collection's growing, so um, we need a bigger greenhouse. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. And as usual, we'd love um, to see any pictures or hear about your progress. Or if there's anything in particular that you want to try growing, then get in touch with us on our Facebook page. Okay, bye.